everyone, Hillcrest Games here with the first of many developer diaries for Lorcan the Leprechaun. Since I've never really done a proper developer diary before, this one is going to cover a huge period of time. First, I'll talk a little bit about my past, then we'll cover the very beginning of the game's development and we'll go through its history up until today. I just first wanted to say that Lorcan the Leprechaun does have a Kickstarter launching in early March, so please click the link in the description and you can follow the campaign, or if you're watching this while the campaign is active, please consider backing the project. Anyway, hi let's do this. We might as well start at the very beginning. Ever since childhood, I had always developed small games as a hobby and as a passion. But it was in 2015 that I decided to make it my career. Over the next few years, I gained invaluable industry experience developing games and teaching game design and game engine courses. However, back in 2015, when I was about to begin my career, I had this concept for a game that I could never stop thinking about. I grew up absolutely in love with 3D platformer games. Mario 64, Crash Bandicoot, Banjo-Kazooie, Jack and Daxter, you name it. And more recently, I became absolutely enamored with the lasting impact that these games have had and the communities that are still built around them, including the speedrunning community. I began to conceptualize a character in a game that would be an obvious throwback to what has come before, but would also expand upon that classic design and classic aesthetic in new ways. Uh, all while being multi-platform and not compromising anything on any platform. It was an ambitious concept, but there was nothing I could do. It consumed me and I was in it until the end. Shortly thereafter, Lorcan the Leprechaun was born. But it wasn't the quality that I had in my mind, so I scrapped it. So then the years long quest began. After work and on the weekends, there's work to be done. I knew that if the project was going to succeed, there were a few things that I had to do. I had to write a completely custom character controller solution completely from scratch. Check. I had to invent a new type of level creation pipeline that can sustain a project of this size and that can allow one person to do the work of many. Check. I had to endlessly test and refine the mechanics and design until a perfect cohesion was found. Check. And I had to study folk tales and myth from around the world in order to create an informed but whimsical backstory and universe for the game. And somehow I still found time to go to the bathroom. But like a good developer, I was listening to game design videos in there. Anyways, with all of this out of the way, the entire development pipeline is ready. And a demo has been put together to see those concepts in action. But the time to seek funding is here. The game's design is all planned out, the pipeline and the people are in place to take the characters and props from concept to reality so that every single asset in the game is original, unique, and awesome. Now I can only just hope that other people want to play this game as badly as I do. Thanks for listening, and make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing developer diaries much more often from now on. Thank you.